Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of x given the 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x equals square root of 6 raised to x minus 9 raised to x. Now, if you want to try this problem, you can pause this video. You have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Our ultimate goal to this question is to solve for the real value of x. To answer this question, first thing to do is, of course, to square on both sides, to eliminate the square root on the right-hand side. Therefore, the right-hand side is equivalent to 6 raised to x minus 9 raised to x. Then, what is the next step? Now, notice that 6 can be written as 2 times 3. Now at this point, let's use some loss of exponent. If we have a times b raised to n, it is equivalent to a raised to n times b raised to n. Therefore, this expression can be written as 2 raised to x times 3 raised to x. Now we will do the same thing in this expression 9 raised to x because 9 is just 3 times 3. And this expression can be written as 3 raised to x times 3 raised to x. Now at this point, the next thing we need to do is to factor out the common factor because we have a common factor of 3 raised to x. So let's factor out 3 raised to x. Now let's equate this equation to 0. And then notice that we have again another common factor of 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x. So we can factor out again the common factor of those two terms. If we do that, we get 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x multiplied by 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x minus 3 raised to x. Now let's combine like terms. Negative 3 raised to x minus 3 raised to x is just negative 2 times 3 raised to x. Now since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x equals 0 or 2 raised to x minus 2 times 3 raised to x must be equal to 0. Now, let's solve the value of x using these two equation. On the first equation, we have 2 raised to x minus 3 raised to x equals 0. First thing to do is to add 3 raised to x on both sides. Now, divide both sides by 3 raised to x. And then, let's use some loss of exponent. If we have a raised to n over b raised to n, it is equivalent to a over b raised to the power of n. Therefore, this 2 raised to x over 3 raised to x can be written as 2 over 3 raised to x. Now, recall that if we have b raised to 0 or any base raised to 0, it must be 1, provided that the base is not equal to 0. Therefore, this one can be replaced with 2 over 3 raised to 0. Now, clearly, that x must be equal to 0 given the first equation. Now, how about in the second equation? We will do the same thing. Let's first add 2 times 3 raised to x on both sides. Now, divide both sides by 3 raised to x. And then, using this property, 2 raised to x over 3 raised to x is just 2 over 3 raised to x. Now, we have an exponential equation and take note that if we have an exponential equation b raised to n equals a, we can rewrite this using logarithmic equation and it is equivalent to n equals logarithm of a to the base of b. Therefore, this exponential equation can be written as x equals logarithm of 2 to the base of 2 over 3. And there you go, we have two possible values for x. Therefore, our answer to this question must be x equals to 0 and x equals logarithm of 2 to the base of 2 over 3. And as always, we are done.